Hello there. Here I'm going to do a video on a magic bonus chest that I made in Custom NPCs 1.10 and it's based on a scripted block and the neighbor changed function. So here I have a chest and if you open it up it will give you many items sometimes. Sometimes it won't give you that many. Um, and then when you close it these lights go off and there's nothing in it for a while. It says come back soon for more stuff. Now surrounding this chest I have these uh, redstone lamps and on this one I was testing out redstone dust and powering a lamp over here. It reacts a little bit differently but it doesn't mess it up if you do something special here. Actually I found, kind of found out by accident that you can, it will mess something up if you switch something around and I'll get to that in a second. So right now it'll give you between 1 and 27 items and those come out of this hidden chest right here which is full of stuff. You can vary these items, you can have less items, half of this could be empty or whatever you'd like and that would vary the number of items. Also in the script you could have uh, this number right here, you could change that to say 10 or something like that and that will give you between one and nine items because it's rounded down. So that's how that works. So it gives you gave me one that time. And the length of the ch when it regenerates itself, when it refills itself, that could be changed too. Right now I have it set on about 15 seconds. So and one other thing, if you so you would probably have it longer than 15 seconds, I imagine. You might have it like five minutes or something like that. But I, one thing I wanted to show is that if you have it open during the period of it resetting, it will it will basically erase everything, which I didn't really know it would do. So we have two things in here. It's kind of random number low fairly low right now but uh, but if I keep this open until the lights come on it will these things will be erased right there see so that's whoops yeah there's nothing in there okay so anyway on to the redstone dust it was I was experimenting right here if you look at this one I just click on it and it's interesting because this does not affect a neighbor change which I thought it would so I was kind of concerned about that but if I put some redstone dust here and I click on it you see it when the redstone dust goes on and off it does change it does register a neighbor change event is what this does it's registering that it's noticing it but not when this is being changed which is good so if but if you do want to use that redstone dust you can you just have to uh, another thing is that if I leave this open till the lights go off and then I close it that will trigger that redstone dust as if I had opened it, if that makes any sense at all. So, okay, the lights are on, and see, now that I closed it, those two actions made it so that it looks like it's empty right now. Okay, so, but one more thing I wanted to go over is, yes, the redstone dust if you don't have that in there you don't have to worry about it necessarily because there's no uh, neighbor change being triggered but I was going to this right here yes in the timer you see when I'm switching the power back on again it's before I'm resetting this value here bypass which allows it to restock the chest up here so it was interesting I found out that if I put it afterwards it really messes up everything it doesn't 
because between here and here the neighbor is being changed and uh, it goes to the second it, it realizes that this is not uh, able to uh, this is not true so it goes down here to the else and it says come back as if it, the lights were off which they are so that's good and then this comes on and then the lights um, so the lights are on and then this is on but between that microsecond right in there if you pu put if you comment this line out and put the power on afterwards then it it messes everything up completely because it's it's uh, it's ready to be opened up but the redstone power came on so that makes it trigger as if it was opened so it's it's just a funny thing with uh, with the neighbor change function every time redstone goes on and off it triggers a neighbor change so it would be just safer to just put these redstone lamps right next to it because they don't have any sort of reaction to the scripted block so that's uh, pretty much it um, I think it's uh, it would be pretty nice in a world to have this you could have different items and you could have whoops oh I uh, edit it with the timer sometimes if you edit it when the timer is running it will mess it up but uh, so there we go there's a bunch of stuff <laughs> a lot of times you never know how much when it's set on 27 it can have almost full or almost empty so I think I've covered just about everything oh, that's, that's about as full as it can get right there I uh, let's see yeah that's it I think if you have any questions I'll leave the script I'll leave a link to the script so thanks for watching